All right, so we want to count the number of permutation of a set with n elements. Uh, we can think of the process of picking uh, permutations. Uh, the first step uh, we can, so since our set uh, there are say a1, a2, up to an, so these are the elements of the set. So the first, uh, first step we have, since we have n elements, then we have n choices. Right, we have in choices. In the second step, no matter what we pick on the first element, uh, there's no uh, dependency. So in the second step, you have n minus one, because there. Are, suppose you pick one guy, so you have n minus one left. And the third step, you have n minus two uh, choices left, and so on. So uh, how many steps do we have? So we have n steps, right, because we, we need to pick n elements. In the first step, uh, we have n choices. The second step, you have uh, n minus 1 choices. The third, third step, you have n minus 2, and so on. So from our principle, the number of ways we can choose is, is the product of all these numbers. Up to uh, the next to last step, we have two choices, and the last step, we have one. And this is, as we have already defined, it's n factorial. Okay, so if you have uh, a set with uh, five elements, say uh, you have one, two, three, four, five, the number of permutation of this set is five factorial, which is four times three times two times one. Oh, sorry, five times. And this is uh, this is twenty sixty, right? Twenty sixty, and so this is a hundred and twenty, for example. All right, so we have just proved this theorem, and and we'll use it in the exercise in class, and we will use it as a uh, a basic to uh, prove other uh, to count some other interesting things. All right, see you in the next uh, clip, uh, in the next uh, lecture. Bye.